Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith and I am standing in front of one of the two quilts that I made for the book Birds in Toyland. This quilt features more wool hand applique. My other quilt features more needle turn hand applique. The primary difference between the two, besides the technique I used to applique them, is that this version has felted wools, which have their own kind of look, and the needle-turned quilt has more printed cottons, a whole other kind of look. Also in the book, there is another quilt with a dark blue background made by Linda Jenkins, who was my partner in Piece of Cake Designs for many years. Her quilt on the blue backgrounds is equally wonderful and festive. There's a gallery of more projects inside the book with quilts and smaller pieces made by other quilters. So when you open the book, there are lots of opportunities to see the blocks in different ways. As you make your blocks, you will be able to play with color in the background, changing from light to dark, neutral to patterned, or in the applique fabrics themselves. You can stick just with the look and the textures of felted wool. You can move into woven cottons, woven linens. You can combine the two to make a wide variety of blocks that have their own unique personality. You can add embroidery. You can add just a little tiny bit, as I did, or you can add more embroidery, as Judy Adcock did in these blocks. They are just so cute. Another way to make your quilt even more festive is to add hard embellishments. So you can add sequins and beads and buttons and snaps and ribbons and all kinds of things. Hard embellishments are added after the quilt has been quilted and bound. And they are sewn through the entire quilt from front to back and back up through the front. This allows the hard embellishments to be cinched fully into the quilt. The other thing is that it keeps them out of the way during the quilting process. When you stop to think about it, this is even more fun because that means that you can add more embellishments to your quilt as the years go by. You may think you're done when you finish, and then later decide, oh no, it needs a little more bling, and you can still add it. It's not over until you really decide it's over. You have the option of making the larger quilt with setting blocks, or you can change it up all on your own. You can set the blocks together with sashing, or you can break them up and use only a few blocks in smaller projects. You can enlarge the blocks. You could reduce them if you wanted to. You can take these motifs and place them on pillows or bags or tree skirts or garments. The opportunities are limited only by your imagination, and I encourage you to be creative. Have fun with these designs. I can't wait to see what you do with your own Birds in Toyland please do send me pictures. I would love to see. I thank you for watching, and I hope you have many happy stitches. Mm -hmm.